Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general for the sign of Virgo. Hey Virgo, hope you guys are in the best of health. Sending you all my love and well wishes. So this is a general, guys, so you know the drill. It may or may not resonate with everyone. However, you can always get a personalized reading, so please head to my Facebook like page, same name, Moon Girl Tarot, and more, and message me on there to book an appointment, or if you simply want to say hello, I do respond, and I do love interacting with you guys. So please do so. And while you're there, feel free to follow and like. I would so appreciate your support. And as always, thank you so much for supporting my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing. I do very comment. I do respond. So thank you. Thank you. And if y'all would like to bless my channel, you can through Facebook pay or cash app Moon Girl 1111. So off the bat, guys, you had the best fucking reading out of all the signs, all the damn signs. This is like really, really good reading. So anyways, I'm just going to like jump right in. Um, we got the moon here. Great card. So the moon being here and it being um, in its position, I do, this is a good omen. Okay. And uh, it predicts a great fortune. Okay. And, and good luck. We do have the ship here. Another excellent, excellent card. Uh, with the ship here. Um, this can mean voyage, so maybe w once we're able to move, uh, you might be planning on taking a trip somewhere, um, or it doesn't necessarily have to be somewhere far away, of course it can be, this is movement of any kind, maybe even thinking about m actually moving elsewhere, um, or this could even be, you know, taking a trip, business trip, any type of trip here, um, it also indicates um, a symbol of riches and uh, wealth. This could be a her inheritance or by trade or something you do here that's going to bring you um, good luck, money, maybe even fame. Then we do have um, the bright. And this is, again, another really good card, especially for those of you who are single. This is uh, indicating that you are going to be su successful in any of your endeavors, all right? And then we have the dog here, another great card. Uh, this is you having a loyalty from close friends or a spouse, uh, especially if this is somebody new coming towards you, somebody you've recently started talking to, whether it be friendship-wise or maybe someone you're dating or wanting to date. I feel like this is going to be somebody very loyal in your life and might be in your life for quite a while. Um, it could start off as friendship and develops to a relationship or it could just be maybe you were thinking of dating this person and it just turns into a, a, a friendship, a loving, longing uh, friendship. But this is definitely someone you can trust with your secrets, a confidant. Um, I do see this person being your life for quite a while, okay guys? Uh, and again, uh, loyalty. The dog means loyalty. Then we have the key here with the key. Again, another good card, success. So you will have success in something, um, anything you're trying to get off the ground here. Then we have the pig, another excellent, excellent card. This is probably the best or one of the best cards in the whole deck besides the sun. Um, and this is just like the, oh my God, this is like the best card, uh, the pig. And it, it means that it's an omen of phenomenal, phenomenal, outstanding luck and great abundance and high honors and ambitions being attained, guys. So again, if there's anything you're trying to get off the ground, any type of project, work, relationship, anything like that, you are going to be successful in it. So go, do it, do it, do it. Do not doubt yourself. If there is naysayers, fuck them. Fuck them all. You are going to be successful, okay? And then we have the tree, good health fulfillment of high hopes i mean come on what else do you fucking want this is amazing guys then we have the bear so with the bear it's a signifying uh sig signifies i'm sorry success and um bravery and loyalty so overall this is like for sure the best reading i gave out of all the zodiacs and then we have, for your last card, the oracle, we have uh, see yourself in nature. So 
for some of you, maybe being out in nature is a big part of your life or was until, you know, everything happened. Uh, maybe you work out in nature. Maybe you like going out and walks in nature, trails, um, maybe like meditating out in nature. And if this is not the case, then Spirit's guiding you to do more of that. Really try to meditate. Uh, and Virgos, you do t tend to have a temper. Um, and I do feel like meditation and being out in nature will definitely kind of help subside that. Um, so yeah, some of you also might need to be grounded. Um, so maybe being out in nature, maybe taking off your shoes and kind of walking on the grass, you know, your front yard, your backyard, you can always burn a brown candle that helps for um, grounding as well. And uh, and maybe you might have some kind of success or do something or work or something like that out in nature or be outside or outdoorsy or something like that, okay? Um, maybe you're working, you're doing a project outside as well. I see you being very hands-on with stuff. So this is what I have for you guys. I hope this reading was at least of some help. If it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I so would appreciate that. And damn... I wish this would have been my damn reading. <laughs> um, so, again, guys, all my love and well wishes. And stay magical. Bye, Virgos.